What's up, YouTube? Mike Kill Hobbies here. Today we're doing the monster hand. It's a very big hand for the big 12 and a half foot guy I made. I got this piece of pipe. Oh, it's probably five eighths, half inch piece of pipe that goes up into this hand and that's how I'm mounting. It slides perfectly into the, the arm of the uh, monster guy I made. So, let's get into how we make this. I'm actually gonna try a different method than what I used to make this, but not too far off topic. For this, to build the bulk up in the fingers, I use newspaper, and I'm gonna try today using aluminum foil. Maybe a little bit better for structural integrity. So, the way I started this hand, I got a Dollar Tree hand, or any one of these hands, you get them off of Amazon, you can get them Walmart, anywhere, really. Um, they only come with the thumb for the right hand, so um, on this one, I need a left hand, so I took the pinky and I used a heat gun and I bent it up so it gives it that separation like our thumb. And it'll work out just fine with how we're gonna make the fingers. We can fake the length on all that. So I got another tube that slides into the arm. I cut a hole in the bottom of the palm here so I can get this tube to just slide up in here nice and perfect. However you wanna do this for a prop you're gonna make. Uh, you could use half inch PVC if you wanted to or just some old pipe that you got laying around like I have. And I cut the hole in the hand smaller than the pipe so it fits nice and snug. I'm gonna wrap that with black electrical tape. Um, so it won't be going anywhere and plus I can put a couple screws in there or, but it's really not going to go anywhere once the tape's around it and it's uh all done with the liquid latex at the end so you need the liquid latex you need the hand you're going to need a couple brushes that you can throw away for your liquid latex any kind of tape uh painter's tape scotch tape um and I have this nine gauge wire I bought a roll of it off of Amazon and this is what I'm using for the fingers I got five of those cut out five different links for the five fingers and on the tips of the fingers I just grabbed some wire dykes and I just cut the very tips of these fingers off not very much just a little bit so I can kind of squeeze these uh, wires in there for the finger I got a year's worth of newspaper saved for paper mache pumpkins and everything, and some aluminum foil. And you're gonna build the hand. We're going to try wrapping it with the uh, aluminum foil and then wrap it all over with whatever kind of, if you got the brown tape or any colored tape really, you could use duct tape if you wanted to. Um, you could use like wrapping paper tape, but I wouldn't suggest that, so. That's how we're going to get into this. So I'm going to get these. I've already got these fingers bent how I want them. I've got the thumb bent out how I want it. The index finger. The middle finger. Here's the ring finger. And the pinky. So I've already got those bent the length and bent up how I want them. I'm going to start inserting them into this cheap Dollar Tree hand. Wrapping them. And that's how we're gonna get this sweet Vecna looking. I, I gotta measure this thing. It's probably, I bet you it's about 20 inches long. It's pretty big. But the guy I made is 12 and a half feet tall, so I needed a big hand. And you can buy them, but the ones that look decent are super expensive. So just take your nine gauge wire. I suggest nine gauge or bigger. Um, otherwise it's just not going to hold up that good. And I kind of based the length of these off of the previous hand I made. But just for reference, I will go back to it to get my length right. And that will be right on that one. And however you want your fingers oriented, this is where you want to do that. And this is where I'm going to use the electrical tape to wrap it and hold it nice and tight. 
And this one, I want the thumb to look like it's just kind of kind of coming in, squeezing. That way, if I decide to put a lantern or something like that on there, it will look correctly. And once you get this all wrapped up and taped up and everything, your fingers aren't going to be moving around on you. So if it moves around a little bit while you're doing this part, that's okay. It's, it's eventually going to stop doing that once you get all the bolt on it. And the, actually this one, the hole on this finger, I cut a little bit down a little bit too much. So it was a little bigger than what I needed. So, um, let me see here. I actually put the wrong one on there. That's the pinky. Take that off. So I'm going to get these all put in the right way. Then I'll be back. Okay, I got the nine gauge wire all in the hand, electrical taped on. Looks like good size reference for this other hand that I've done. Give you a kind of a comparison there. It's really good size. So I'm gonna get some aluminum foil going here and I kind of got in mind I already know at the tips of these fingers on the hand is going to be uh, the second knuckle on your finger so then out from that this other knuckle is going to be right up here where I got these other bends so kind of mark those or bend them where you're going to want that and uh, I'm just going to wrap the fingers and then I'm just going to come back on over the knuckles and just wrap a little bit more, give it a little more bulk. So I'm going to try this aluminum foil first. Now, get a splinter here. Just got a little piece like this. Fold it up a little bit. Go to town. I'm going to start down on the finger a little bit and then work up onto the 9 gauge wire here. And you can make these as thick or as thin as you want, how, however creepy you want them. I mean, you could use clothes hangers if you wanted to. Make yourself a skinny, creepy looking smaller figure but for a 12 and a half figure I definitely needed this girth and I will tell you right now aluminum foil is the way to go over the newspaper the newspaper looks good but you got to sit there and tape everything as you do it so this right here way less time consuming wrap it on and go Don't remember whose channel I seen doing that. I, I want to say it was a guy from Europe somewhere who he's I just YouTube monster hand, and he's what comes up. Uh, but he actually does them on a glove, something you can wear. Which I do have plans to do that. My daughter wants something like that for Halloween, so I'm gonna kind of use his idea on that which is really close to what I'm doing here um, but I will you I will get some uh, some pop stick popsicle sticks or bamboo shoots and just cut the tips off and use those with the wire that way it'll give it a little more strength and then the wire will let us be able to bend it but I'm gonna use a uh, smaller wire for that and of course you won't be able to to do anything like this with the hand the way I'm gonna make it like this but you will be able to to go like that and the fingers will already be you know however however you make them so either way I think it'll be pretty cool and 
And I'm not gonna go out to the very end. Actually, I will go out to the very end, but on the very end, I'm not making it very thick. As you can see on these fingers, the tips are nice with those nice fingernails and it's got a real creepy kind of feel to it. I got these plastic fingertips. These are from Dollar General, but you can get them at Dollar Tree, Amazon, Walmart. I think Target has them, Family Dollar. Uh, these might these might even be from Target because these are hide and eat. And I think that's Target's brand. Yeah, this is Target's brand. But anyway, it's just these little witch, witch fingertips. And once I got this all done, I just took one of these witch fingertips and slid it on. And that's what gave me that nice end with the fingernail. You get a bag of 10 for a buck. So not too bad. So I'm going to continue to wrap these fingers. Get this part all done and then I'll be back. Okay, got the hand all taped up, did the knuckles. Everything's looking pretty good. And now I am hot gluing these fingers on here and then I'll go back through with uh, some tape and maybe a little newspaper here just to kind of blend it in a little. Um, so that's where we're at right here. And I'm just dabbing a bunch of hot glue here. Take the finger, get it the direction you want it. Shove it on down. And repeat five times. Pretty simple task there. Now I got an idea for strengthening this hand up and also the wires that are for these fingers, they go into this hand all the way down. So make sure you guys run them all the way down there. So once I stick my, my uh, mounting device up in there, I'm gonna hot glue it, stick it up in there. And then I think I will come here on the bottom and drill a little hole and then I'll shoot some expanding foam in here. And it's really going to make everything very, very tight. So I think that's probably a good idea. And maybe on the hand I've already done, I'll drill a little hole and do that too, even though it's pretty stiff. So get this one up in here. Gonna get it where I want it, pull it out, and then hot glue. And then shove it up in there. caring how this hot glue looks because it's getting covered by creepy cloth here at the joint or the wrist and also we'll be going over it with the liquid latex and toilet paper technique that's what gives it that you know nasty skin look 
and for these veins here, I don't know if I said it before, but I just took toilet paper and, and rolled it up to thin to thin strips and laid it on there and then just liquid latex over it to give it the that kind of 3D sort of look. And I just used some grays, some browns, some blacks. I think maybe a little bit of purple also in red on that hand for painting. So there's the fingers on there. Maybe just a little bit of tape around to blend those hard edges. better than the other hand that I did because I didn't do this on that one I just went straight for the liquid latex toilet paper I think blending it in a little bit is going to make it look better Side to finish painting the big torso on the 12 foot guy but it's raining and I don't want to paint it in my back garage because it just that Wagner sprayer just gets paint everywhere it, it works really good but it atomizes the paint so much that it just goes everywhere it gets on everything I'm definitely doing that outside So those are just kind of blended in a little bit. Some of them are real thin after some of them are thicker. It gives it that, you know, unique, creepy kind of look once it's all done. So now I will go over this thing with toilet paper and liquid latex. And I'm going to start on the bottom side do all of it and then I will work to the top side once that's all dry I'll probably give that most of today to dry and then I'll go ahead and do the foam maybe I should do the top side we'll figure it out I think maybe I'll do the foam right now and then we'll go with the liquid latex. That way if any foam creeps out anywhere, I can cut it off and make it look right. So I'll do that. Once that foam dries, we'll be right back. Okay. I got all the liquid latex done and the toilet paper and the veins. So this here, these veins, you just take toilet paper and twist it up and paint it on there with the liquid latex and that'll give you that vein look but it's a really simple process you just get yourself some toilet paper uh, each little square I rip it into three pieces so into thirds and then uh, get yourself a brush that you don't care about any kind of liquid latex this one in particular I got off of Amazon I want to say it was about 10 bucks and I use this little container with the lid, a little Rubbermaid container. That way, anything I pour in here, I put that lid back on there and it stays nice and liquidy instead of drying up. So I went over everything with the aluminum foil and the tape. Put the fingers on there, blended it in with the toilet paper, which you can't see because it all dries kind of yellowy. But yeah, this hand's super sticky right now. And I need it to look like this hand. So that's the right, and this is the left. And they are really cool looking big hands. And I did do the 
drilled a couple holes in the hand and filled it with uh, expanding foam. And what a difference. That is the way to go. So if you use these cheap Dollar Tree hands and some, some wire to make your fingers, once you get everything kind of set where you want it, go back in that hand and spray that expanding foam in there because it just latched onto those wires and everything. And it's super, super sturdy now. I mean, it's, it's how it should be. So I should go back on this hand and do it because the fingers are a little wobbly. But I don't know. I'm afraid to dig into that latex with a drill bit because... I mean, it should be good by now, but usually once that latex grabs something, it just wants to rip all the latex off. So, I need this to look like that hand. I need to mix up. I think I'll start with the grays, and then I'll go back through and add some browns and blacks. I know typically you... A lot of people say start with the darks, but I'm going to start with the gray because I'm just going to use black at the end to highlight a little bit. So I'll use the, I'll paint it all gray and then I'll go through with some, some darker brown. This is burnt lumber and I'm going to blend in a little bit of some kind of grayish purple color in there too. But I'm going to start with gray. I found these brushes today. You get a pack of like four of them for $1.25. Dollar Tree. Let's so mix up the paint here. And we'll get to painting. Simple. You just paint until you are completely covered. That's the best thing about this monster hand. You want it to look kind of nasty. So you just go through and make it look nasty. And it's paint. So don't be afraid to go back over your, your piece of art with paint. Because after all, it is just paint. And if you don't like it, you just paint over it again. If you don't like that, you just paint over that again. And if you just can't get it right, just <laughs> grab a, a can of spray paint and paint it back white or whatever, and then do what you do. So I got this gray, fairly dark gray here now. And I just got these cheap little trays from the Dollar Tree. You can get Maybe six of them, I think. Just little bitty trays. Now you just go through and paint. The best thing about painting this, it's going to get rid of all that stickiness with that liquid latex. And once I'm done painting, I go through with a, uh, a can of glossy clear spray paint. And really give it two or three even four good coats just to protect the paint and also just to give it that wet kind of just gives it a really good wet look now i'm just going over this gray just a dark gray and then i'll be going back over it with the browns the purplish browns and then i'll be highlighting with the uh, black and then maybe some light browns. This paint dries fairly quick. And if you're in a pinch and you need that paint to dry faster, grab your heat gun or hair dryer, sit it in front of a fan. If you're in Florida like me, Sit it outside for negative 10 seconds and it'll be dry. <laughs> this is my first time using this liquid latex. I don't know how it'll do in the heat. Typically down here, 
in October. We're still in the 80s. Um, it's like 84 today. September 15th today. So hopefully we'll get a little bit cooler. It'd be nice to be down in the 70s. I'd like to be in a little bit cooler weather. But man, I hate to think about you guys and girls in that colder weather. What it's going to cost you guys to heat your homes this winter, man. I feel for you. So I'll just get this all painted, dried up, and then go through and highlight, and then I'll be back. It's all gray now, and I'll hit it with the blow dryer. I'm so happy this hand's done. There's your size comparison. So that was the first one. And there's the second one. This is the left hand. I don't know if you can tell the thumb is parted and bent in. And it is going to look good on the big 12 and a half foot guy. <clears throat> so I, all I did was go through here with some, some really light grays uh, some dark browns, some light browns, and blacks, and then just a little bit more light gray uh, over it, or kind of a mid-tone gray. And I'm sorry, I did put purple in there too. I mixed purple with brown, and that was the first color I did after I did the initial gray. So then I just went back over the veins with some red, did the fingernails red on both sides. And I hit it with a blow dryer, got everything nice and dry, and then I took it outside and sprayed it with some Rust-Oleum Gloss Clear. So it, it really kind of has a nice wet look to it. And they're, you know, they're, they're, these hands are, God, they're over my head. They're probably seven, eight, maybe eight feet up in the, eight or nine feet up in the air. So they look pretty good up close. They'll look even better when they're eight, nine feet up in the air. So super simple to make. I do suggest using the uh, aluminum foil method over the paper, the newspaper method, as far as wrapping around the, the wire. And I do suggest the nine gauge wire. It's heavy duty. You can bend it how you need it and it's not gonna bend back without some force or you can bend it back you know with some force but the aluminum foil is much easier and user friendly to work with for the building up the the bulk of the the cable or the wire the newspaper is still fine there's nothing wrong this is the newspaper hand um there's nothing wrong with it. It just is a little more time consuming because you got to wrap it all around and tape it. The aluminum foil, you just stick it on there and crumble it. Uh, and then I went back over everything with the tape anyway, um, just to build it up. And then you do your toilet paper liquid latex coat. Um, I did one coat of toilet paper and liquid latex and then all together about three or four coats extra of liquid latex on that. I would say three coats extra on there three pretty heavy coats though and then like i said the veins are just rolled up toilet paper you just take a little strip of it and then just roll it up stick it on there and then liquid latex over it and then you just go to town painting and that's it of course you want to stick it to whatever you know you're going to have going into your prop this way <clears throat> for storage if you're going to make something big like this you can take it on and off and these fit perfectly in the arms of the guy that I have. And the arms that I'm using are made out of an old um, volleyball set. The stands for the volleyball net. These things fit perfectly right in there. But I'm going to shoot a screw through here, a self-tapping screw through here in the, <clears throat> in the frame anyway. 
just so they won't come out, but they fit nice and snug in there. These hands are super easy to make. Started off with a cheap Dollar Tree hand, some nine gauge wire, aluminum foil or newspaper, some liquid latex and some paint. Now, like I say, I did on this hand, I drilled a couple holes in the bottom. You, you can't even see them because I went back over with liquid latex and uh, filled this hand up with some expanding foam and it is much more sturdy. I mean, the, the wires in there ain't moving around. It's not making any noise or anything. It's it's robust. It's a really good <clears throat> creepy hand and it's it's huge. I mean, it's good size. So that's the left hand and there's the right hand. A little bit more veins on the right hand, but that's fine. Um, this one I did not do the foam inside of there. It's it's okay still, but you can hear a little bit of little bit of noise before i did any liquid latex i shoved newspaper up in there just to kind of stop the rattling but it still has a little bit of rattle and it's just not quite the structural integrity it just isn't quite as good as when i put the foam inside of this one it's fine and it'll work it's not a moving prop it's just going to stand out there uh it does make noise and have flickering lights in the eyes and the mouth and then a flame light in the chest. So that's it on the hand. If you would like me to do a more in-depth uh, full video of making a monster hand, let me know. I know I jumped around on this, but I'm just getting a feel for this for these YouTube videos and, and what you guys and gals might like. And if you want me to do just a full on video of every single uh, process, let me know. Thanks for watching guys.